Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miss Lumo. I am a teacher from Accra, Ghana. I love to teach with tech. I also love to share tips and tricks on using my classroom to help other teachers enhance their teaching experience. If you're yet to hit the subscribe button, kindly do so and also click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I drop a new video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I create posters for my classroom, both digital posters and physical posters. As a teacher, sometimes it is difficult to get lesson posters that speak directly to the content I'm teaching in the classroom. I'm talking about both digital posters and physical posters. And so I've learned how to create my own posters and I'll be sharing the process with you today. So I use Canva for education to design my lesson posters. Canva is a site for everything design. It has all the features or at least 90% of what I need to create my lesson posters. And also Canva for education is free for teachers. All you need is to provide proof that you're a teacher and once you're verified, you have access to all the features on the site for free. You can use Canva to design posters for all grades. The content of your poster will depend on the grade you teach. Now let's move to my computer so that I show you the entire process. Get your notepad or your computer so that you can work with me. So the first thing you need to do is to open your browser. In this case, I'm using Google and you open a new tab and then you type in canva.com slash education. Once it opens, this is what you're going to see. Now, if you already have an account with them, you log in. But if you don't have an account with them, you would sign up. In this case, I already have an account with them, so I'm going to click Login. So once you log in, this is what you're going to see. This is the interface you're going to see. Now, if you create a design, you're going to see that all your designs, but we're not going to get into those details. We are just going to create a design straight away. The first thing you need to do is to click on create a design up here. Now we are going to look for the format we'll be using. We'll be using the A4 document format. So I type in here A4 document. Once it pops up, I click on it and it will open a new tab where we are going to design our poster. So let's zoom in a bit. Okay, this is the right size and we are going to create. We are going to start creating. Now I'm going to rename my design to lesson poster. Once I'm good to go, I'm going to create a template that I will use. Now, what I do is once I create a template, I duplicate it for subsequent designs. So I'm going to get a border first. To get a border, you go to elements and you look for shapes. So once I've typed shapes, I'm going to click on lines and shapes. New elements are going to pop up for me and I'll pick what I want to use. So in this case, I want to use this um, square shape. So I'm just going to click on it and it's going to appear on my design. So once it appears on my design, I'm going to put it around my entire document. So what I'd like to do is I resize it into a small size first and then I drag it to all the corners, to all the sides. So once I have the border, I change the color. I'm going to make the color purple. If you have a class where you have students who are sensitive to colors, then you will have to, you know, consider the color you would use for your border. Once I've picked the color, I'm going to lock the border. I'm locking it because I don't want it to move around. If it moves around, it's going to mess with my other designs. Once I have the border sorted, I'm just going to add um, the background for my text. So I'll go back to element shapes and I'm going to click on this one. It is like a two and one in shape. It has a border around it. So I'm going to resize it, make it small, then I'll drag it to the position that I want. Once I'm comfortable with the position and the size and everything, I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to make the first border red, the second border red, and the inner color I'm going to make it yellow. Now I like to use these colors because they are vibrant and they catch the attention of my students. So they tend to focus once I put up a poster. So once I have the background for the text ready, I'm going to lock that one too because I don't want it to move around. Then we're going to add some text. To add some text, you go 
to the site where we picked our elements from. But in this case, you're going to click on text and you're going to click on add a heading. So I'm going to drag the heading to the box that we created for the text. And I'm going to type the heading for the poster. So in this case, I'm creating a poster for shapes. So I'm going to type in 2D shapes. If I want to change the size of the text, I just drop the corners of the text box to change the size of the text, or I go to the task bar or the toolbar, I think, I think, and I can click on the, the plus button to increase the font size. If I also want to change the font, I just click on the arrow and it will just give me options and I'll pick what I want to. But in this case, I like the text for my heading, so I'm just going to maintain it. Once I have my text and everything ready, I'm going to add the real content to my poster. Now that my template is ready, I'm going to add the other elements. That's the other shapes that I want to put on my poster. So I go back to elements, lines and shapes, the same process, and I begin to pick the shape that I want. Now, I like my shapes to have um, a border. So I have to look for shapes that have borders. So the first shape I'm going to add is a triangle. So I just type triangle and it will load. Now once it loads, I have to look for a triangle with a border because I want my shape to have a border. So I'm going to click on graphics because I want a graphic triangle. Now, if you click on all, it's going to give you a lot of options. So you have to narrow it down to graphics. Photos will give you real photos of triangles, but graphics will give you like you know, clip arts of um, triangles. So I'm going to look through and pick the one that I want. So this works, so I'm going to click on this one and drag it into position and also resize it. Now I'm going to change the color. I'm going to give it different colors to add some more, you know, vibrance to it. So I'm going to make the white border black and I'm going to make the main shape color um, green. So my triangle is ready. Now I'm going to add a label to the triangle. To do that, you go to text, you click on add subheading, and then you type in the name that you want to add. Now I want to change the font because I don't like the way the A and the G is looking. So I'm just going to go straight to where the text um, options are, and I'm going to click on the, the fonts that I want to use. I have uploaded my own font to Canva, so I'm going to click on Quick Send. Now you can upload your own font too. Once you download the font onto your computer, Canva gives you an option to upload the font so you can use it for your designs. So I think I like what I'm seeing now. I'm good to go. So I'm going to add the second shape. To add the second shape, you follow the same process. You go to Elements, and then you type in the shape that you want. I'm going to type a square. Then I go to graphics so that it will narrow down the options for me. I look through and I pick the shape that I want. Now that I've found the shape that I want, I'm just going to click on it and it will appear on the template we're working with. And then I will resize it and change the colors. So resize it. Then I'm going to make the white border black and I'm going to make the inside color, give it some maybe blue. Now that I'm, I'm okay with it, I'm going to rename the shape. So to rename the shape, I'm just going to click on this triangle, then duplicate it. To duplicate, you just click on Command D or Control D, depending on the machine you're using. I'm using an Apple machine, so I'm going to click on Command D. If you're using a Windows, I think it's Control D to duplicate. Another option will be to go to your toolbar, you click on More, then you just click on Duplicate. So I'm just going to change the text to square. Now I'm going to add my third shape, which is a rectangle. To add a rectangle, I'm just going to type shapes. Then I'll go back to lines and shapes. I'm going to pick a square and then I'll resize it to the shape of a rectangle. So I'm going to pick a, a square with a border, this. Then I will resize it and drag it to the position that I want to. So I'm going to make the green border black and then the inner color, I'll maintain the inner color, which is brown. Then I'll resize it some more and I'll add a label. Now to add a label, I'll just go to the triangle, duplicate, drag it under the, the rectangle, and then I'll just change this, the, the name. 
Now I'm going to add a fourth shape, which is a circle. Now, when I look through the elements, I didn't find a circle which has a border. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click on this circle, change the color to the color that I want, and then I'll resize it. Then I'm going to go back to elements and click on this hollow circle, then drag it over the main circle and resize it so that it will fit and act like the border that I want. Now that I'm okay with it, I'm just going to change the color to black. Then I have my circle. Now to make sure that this circle, the two circles don't move, I'm just going to highlight on both of them, then I'll group them. Then in that case, when I move it around, I'm just moving one element. So I'm just going to add a label. So the process is pretty much the same from here. You are just going to add on to the poster so you're satisfied with the content. Now our poster is ready. You can choose to download it and project it in your class as a digital poster, or you can print it out and use it as a classroom display poster. I hope this video was helpful and you picked a few nuggets. If you have other ways to design your lesson posters, kindly drop it in the comment section so that I can also learn from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you join our growing family. So then keep on touching lives one class at a time.